Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Wa sallallahu wa sallam. Ala nabiyyana Muhammad. Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam. Amma ba'd. As part of our reflections of the Sunnah, or on the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, we have to remind ourselves what is the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And that the Sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is adhering to the statements of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the Uh, actions of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and the things that he Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam accepted the taqrirat of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and if we accept the Sunnah then we're truly accepting Islam because the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is Islam as Imam Babahari mentioned when he said, Rahimahullah Ta'ala, and look how his statement is mahfuz. It, you know, the statement is still with us. Here we are, perhaps a thousand years later or more, perhaps uh, 1100 years or so later, we're still mentioning his very beautiful statement because of its greatness and its carrying truth and his sincerity bi-idnillah about the sunnah of the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that in fact when we when he said a sunnah to uh, al-islam who a sunnah wa sunnah to he al-islam he mentioned that the Sunnah is Islam. And Islam is the Sunnah. And that you can't have one without the other. That you cannot have the Sunnah without Islam. You can't divorce the two. And in regards to that, why, what makes me reflect upon this, and may Allah forgive us of our shortcomings and bless us to be adherents of the Qur'an and the Sunnah and the understanding of the Salaf of this Ummah, is that with the, when you travel to other lands and you see how, unfortunately, sometimes our brothers and sisters are very far from the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. All of us have shortcomings, as the Prophet Sallallahu said. Kullu ibn Adam khata wa khayna khata'ina tu'abun. All the children of Adam, they make mistakes. mistakes, And the best of those who commit sins is those who repent to Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Taala. But what we see a lot of times, especially in my returning here to where I'm from, my native Washington state, we see many masajid, walhamdulillah, Many communities, uh, the Muslims are growing exponentially. We have Muslim schools now starting and, and all kind of activity, which is so much khair. At the same time, the divisions are very pronounced, more so than ever. And especially based on tribal affiliation. And in addition to that is mukhalafat al-sunnah. So that's a part of differing with the sunnah is being segregated and, and racially divided. But on top of that is other mukhalafat that you'll find the Sufis have their own community. You have the Diobandi, Tabliki groups. They work together and they have their own union of masajid and a lot of wealth that Allah has bestowed upon them to, to be able to do good. And they try to uh, benefit their communities. But no doubt, 
that they are causing a harm and disservice by not correcting the Aqidah, by not correcting the creed of their community and of themselves. Wallah mustan. So, by knowing and loving the Sunnah, which we hope that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala blesses us with tawfiq and coming closer to Him in doing and what we need to do is our sabil, it's the sabil al najat It's a successful path. And it's the sabil al-mu'mineen. It's the, it's the path of the believers. We need that. We need the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and we need to come closer. We need to encourage one another. And those are just some of my reflections on what I see and I ask that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala blesses us with a class with the bad and blesses us to know the sunnah, spread the seeds of the sunnah so that our children at least will be adherent to the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.